I wonder what it'd be like if my legs were too short or my arms were too short. Hmm, let's think about this. <laughs> Wow, that was a really silly daydream. It was really weird when my arms were too short, I couldn't comb my hair or brush my teeth. And when my legs were too short, I couldn't even jump rope. That's because Mr. Mariani had the wrong proportion. Today our art word is going to be proportion. Have you ever tried to draw something before where the arms were too big or the legs were too small? I know I have. Today we're gonna to use this word proportion to help us draw superheroes but we want to make sure they have the right size arms and legs and even head because we don't want them to look super crazy, right? <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, for today's lesson, all we're gonna need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Now, instead of having the paper go side to side, which we call landscape, we're gonna flip it and have it go up and down, which we call portrait. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the head. Everyone loves to draw the head first but we're going to make it like an upside down Easter egg. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my hand and find the top of the paper and the middle, so right about here. And I'm gonna make an upside down egg. Perfect. Now we're gonna use that head to help us with proportion so that our body is this, the right proportions. So what we're gonna do is take our pinching fingers, these are gonna be our little measurers measure here and what watch what I do I keep my thumb right there and I move down 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 right about there and then I'm gonna put a little dot put my finger on top turn it around put a little dot right there so I have two dots that are right over here and that's gonna be where my shoulders go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a neck by making a line a line and I'm gonna go out to my dot out to my dot now, I wanna know how long my torso is going to be. So what I'm gonna do is take my pinching fingers, measuring fingers, measure one, slide down, two, slide down, three. Right about here, I put a line. This is where my waist is going to be. Now, I know my arms go a little bit past my waist, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna come back up. That's gonna be one arm. And if I do that on this side, it's symmetrical, so I gotta go on the other side. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line down to my waist and the line up to my arm. Okay, now we know that our legs are a little bit longer than our arms, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure with my measuring again, and I'm gonna go down here, and I know this would be where my arms go, but I'm gonna make them a little bit longer, so I'm gonna go down, to the bottom. And one thing, if you really want to know, is that from here to here is the same, from here to here is the same, and from here to here is the same, so from here to here is gonna be the same. They're all gonna have this, the right proportions. Pretty good, right? Now I gotta make my fingers, and I have one, two, three, four, five fingers on this side. So if it's symmetrical, I have to have five fingers on this side. One two, three, four, five. Hands are really hard to draw, so don't worry if you make some mistakes with your hands. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add in some feet. Feet I'm just gonna make look like this. Got some feet on my person. Okay, so now I have a proportion drawing of a person. This is where the creative part comes in. You get to make your superhero. I'm gonna name mine Pizza Pete. 
So, let's make his name. Pizza. Pete. Because I really like the letter P. And his superpower is he can change everything into pizza, which can be good or bad, I guess. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bump for his nose. So I went over, down, up, over. Then I'm gonna make a sideways triangle, sideways triangle. Then I'm gonna put a pizza right there and a piece of pizza right there. I'm gonna put little pepperonis on there. Little pizza head. Looks kind of silly. Actually, I might put a pizza in the middle of his head too. I'm gonna color that in later, it's gonna look great. Now I'm gonna put a cape on him. So I'm gonna put a bump right here on one shoulder and a bump right there on the other shoulder. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now remember boys and girls, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to say, Mr. Mariani, I'm gonna press pause, rewind, come back to it, start over. Making mistakes is part of learning art. Now I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna do a big pizza on his chest, but he's gonna be missing one slice because that one slice is up on his head. So I'm making my pizza. Da, 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 da. He really likes his pizza. I'm gonna make the slices like this. Hmm. What else can I do to my superhero to make him look creative? I'm gonna give him a belt, because a lot of superheroes have cool belts. Mm. And in his belt, I'm gonna give him a pizza cutter. Have you ever seen one of these? It's got a little circle. He's got a pizza color cutter, and I'm gonna give him a spatula for getting the pizza out of the ovens. All right, now you can go ahead and color yours and make yours whatever way you want. But I remember, I want you to remember, today we were focusing on proportions. So take your time, try your hardest to be the smartest artist, make a superhero, and please don't forget to share it with me or Mr. Wenzel. Send us an email or just send up a picture to Google Classroom to show us your amazing art. All right, boys and girls, can't wait to see you soon.